Hey guys, it's Gary Dean. I have been asked about 10 times this week, I don't know why this week is the most popular week to ask me this same question, but people want to know how do I clean my pads after I polish. They also want to know how often do I switch pads when I'm polishing a vehicle. Now I'll start with how often I switch pads and I, I guess where I'm at is I wait till the surface of the pad starts to get a little bit caked up where I feel like there's more material on the pad uh, than surface of the pad is left, if that makes any sense, when it's caked up a little bit with polish uh, and with you know the material that you're removing from the car. So if I had to put that in like a panel value, I would say that I could probably do I don't know, the side of a car, so if it's a four-door sedan, I could do the rear quarter panel, I could do both doors and then the front fender. And I generally don't swap pads. What I do is I clean pads as I go. So I'll use one pad uh, to compound and then one pad to polish if I'm doing two different steps. Or I'll do one single pad uh, for the swirl mark removal process. So. What I mean by that is I will literally stop when I feel the pad is caked, wash the pad, spin it dry on the machine, and I'll show you that, and then go to town with that same pad uh, after I load it up with polish again. So I generally use the same pad to compound for the whole car and then the same pad to polish for the whole car. Now, the reason I can get away with doing that is because I use buff and shine pads. And I can tell you that throughout my 15 plus years of doing this detailing thing, buff and shine pads are by far the most durable pads that I've ever used. And that's why I use them. I use them because every single time I need them to last, uh, after I spin them dry, I know that that adhesive between the Velcro backing and the foam is not going to fail on me. So I can do the way I do to save time and I don't have to worry about the pad failing on me. I have tried every single brand of pad out there on the market multiple times and Buff and Shine never fails me ever. And I think for me as a pro detailer uh, and you know my mentality is to save time without compromising quality and being as efficient as possible that is a testament to how awesome buff and shine pads are. Now I can tell you that Infinite Cut and Infinite Finish were designed around the brand new uh, low pro pads from buff and shine, which is why I sell them on detailjuice.com. I prefer the five and a half inch variety for the uh, Harbor Freight DA. And you can see it's there waiting for my little demo. I've got infinite purpose cleaner and several pads I need to clean uh, as well as uh, a wool pad that I was using on on my boat and then I've got a little brush I'm going to show you that I've got my deionized water set up uh, which you guys have seen before a little pressure washer that's an AR 118 the current equivalent of that is the uh, AR 112 S and that's I actually have one of those too uh, and that's a zero G uh, hose uh, that a buddy of mine gave me that thing's pretty awesome I love it uh, but anyway, I use Buff and Shine because they work, they never fail me, and they're, they're, they're serious workhorses, they get a lot of work done, they cut well, they finish well, depending on the pad you use per the application, and I've just never had any issues with them, and every single time I try another brand products, I mean, I get products given to me all the time, products, equipment, all kinds of stuff that I can test out and you know put it through the pace paces but every single time i test another product against the buff and shine pads that product fails so if you're going to buy pads i'm not necessarily begging you to buy them from me i would appreciate the support uh through detailjuice.com but if you're going to get pads i would highly recommend that you use buff and shine pads uh they are amazing uh, and they're not paying me to say this. I'm not endorsed by them. I, I pay my hard-earned money for them, and that's why I can give you this solid review of Buff and Shine in general. They are amazing. So without further ado, I'm going to get you on the tripod here, and I'm going to give you a demo of how I clean my pads. Now, 
This isn't complicated. Just like most stuff I do. So I've got a four inch pad. This is obviously buff and shine. I sell those as well. I use those on headlights and for uh, smaller nooks and crannies. Uh, but these are the new low pro pads. You can see that this one's pretty caked. That's where I would stop and uh, clean it and then go about my business. I purposely did not clean this pad so that I could do this video. There's also a uh, maroon pad, which is their uh, polishing pad. And I used infinite finish with that. That's not necessarily caked because you use far less of infinite finish than you do with infinite cut, which is what I used here. Um, but anyway, so how I generally do this is I will literally just get the infinite purpose cleaner diluted uh, one part product two parts water is how i use it for pretty much everything it is you can definitely dilute it more than that i just randomly throw it in a bottle and fill up the rest with water so my estimate on how much i use every single time is one part product two parts water so anyway you saturate the face of the pad just like so with the infinite purpose cleaner what I will generally do just to make sure I can get all the material off the surface and all of the polish is I'll give it a light scrub with this nylon brush okay just like this now don't dig into the pad you don't want to break open the the exterior uh, cell structure what you want to do is just give it a, a quick scrub Give it a quick spray again. Now I do not use a pad pad washer. I think those are a waste of money. Uh, I have I have I actually used to own one. I do not use them because this works far better, and I don't have all that extra equipment. And you guys know, I use as little equipment as possible to produce amazing results. So anyway, this is clean, ready to spray it with the uh, water hose. just like so make sure you get all the cleaner out just like that if you felt like you wanted to soak it in a bucket scrub it out massage it out by hand you could definitely do that spraying it out just like this i have found works amazing and is quite efficient works awesome and that's it all clean so now we'll do something that's a little bit heavier caked like this green heavy cutting pad from buff and shine same thing soak it down with the infinite purpose cleaner I soak it down till it starts to drip that's how much product I put on and that's how I know there you go see it's dripping okay give it a couple extra spritz then I'll grab my nylon brush again and I'll massage that out. Now, you may end up have, having to massage heavily caked pads by hand and using a little bit more product, which is not necessarily a big deal. I feel like this method right here, this manual method with Infinite Purpose Cleaner gets pads cleaner than I could ever get them with a pad washer. Now, if you prefer a pad washer, that's fine. This is just my way to do things. And this is what this, the Untold Truth in Detailing series is about, is about me showing you how I do things and then you making your own decisions based on that. That is all. Obviously, like I said, heavier caked pads are gonna require a little bit more product than not so heavily caked pads so there we go now it's time to pick up the hose again and spray all that product and material out of the pad just make sure all the product is out and by product, I mean not only the infinite cut or whatever it is you're using, but also um, the infinite purpose cleaner that I use to clean the pad.
And there you go. Done deal. Because this is an open cell structure pad, and what I mean by that is, you can see when you look at the pad, the holes in the, uh, in the, in the foam. Whereas, this is dirty, but this is a closed cell structure European foam, which means if you look, you can see that this is far more dense than this. You can see fewer little uh, air pockets in this foam than you can in that foam. This is far more coarse, and this is obviously designed for cutting, but the maroon one is the same way. Uh, this is not the one I just cleaned. This is another dirty one. Uh, however, if you look at the three, you can probably see how open these pores are and how closed that is. Um, doesn't really mean much to you. I wouldn't really worry about it. Uh, the European foam seemed to finish a lot better while cutting really good. Uh, but at the same time, these new low pro pads, they were designed for large throw machines. However, with the Harbor Freight DA, that's a, that's a short throw, I believe eight millimeter throw machine, uh, like your Porter Cable 7424 XP, uh, and the other ones that are on the, on the market. But these pads work amazing on that machine, especially with infinite cut and infinite finish. Anyway, another pad clean. Spray it down, get all the material out, get all the infinite purpose cleaner out. Super duper clean. Super duper fast, very thorough, very efficient. Now, I mentioned spinning them dry. Now, if I were at a customer's place and I were dealing with a car or if I were at the shop or whatever and I wanted to just go right back in to using this same pad, I would shake it out like this, get the majority of it out, grab my machine, just like this, I would center it on the machine, just like this, I would put it on speed four, just like this, turn that machine on. See all that stuff splattering off of it, then I would Turn it up to speed six. I'll hold my hand here just in case the pad flies off. I'll even give it a little bit of pressure. Like I'll put my hand on the pad while it spins so that I know if it spins, it's not flying and gonna hit somebody. That's potential liability. You don't want that. You wanna limit your liability. So anyway, you do that till it's dry. There's nothing coming off of it now. I just feel air. Turn it off, turn it back to speed five, which is generally where I polish at, and then boom, done. It is bone dry, ready to start again, and super clean. That's it. Nothing complicated about that, right? Because that's how I do things. Now, if you're gonna do, for example, a larger pad, like this one right here. It's a seven and a half inch buff and shine medium wool pad. I would do the exact same thing, exact same thing. Spray it down with infinite cleaner, or infinite purpose cleaner, sorry. Uh, spray it down really good. Soak the outside with IPC. Now, I always, Go back in with the brush on this one. You wanna get all that, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure I used my uh, gel coat oxidation eater uh, compounding polish on this last. And you wanna break up all that polish that's on there and soak it down with the cleaner. And then, again, I, I, I put this right back on my rotary 
turn that bad boy up to about 2,000 RPM and spin it dry and go right back at it. I did not bring the rotary out here to show you that. It's not that important. But just massage it with your hand for a couple seconds to break up all the polish residue in there. And then, you know, any, any gel coat material that's left in there. But just give it a good dose of cleaner before you hit it with the water. And that's it. No need for a uh, pad washer or any of that. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get results with the pad washer. I'm saying my opinion is I don't like them because I prefer this method. This method works better for me and you can do whatever works better for you. That's what's important. And that's the cool part about this detailing game. Do what works for you. For me, I like simplicity while producing the same quality as everybody else. I spend less money on product, less money on equipment, less money on gas, and I give my customers most of the time better than other detailers in the world. Crazy, huh? Better, 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 less, 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 less. I can get more work done in less time doing things I do, doing things the way that I do them than other detailers will. So anyway, that's ready and clean. It's ready to put that bad boy back on the rotary polisher and spin it dry and hit that boat another time and do that thing all day long with the same pad until that pad falls apart, which will be a long time because it's a buff and shine. So anyway, that's how I clean pads. Now I'm sitting out here in the sun. I'm not gonna cut the video. I'm sitting out here in the sun, sweating to death. I know you can see that. But if you guys got questions about anything detailing related, if I can help you guys in your detailing endeavors, whether you're an enthusiast, a hobbyist, a weekend warrior, uh, a, a detailer that wants to go pro, or an existing, current, everyday pro detailer i can help you save time be more efficient and make more customers happy which in turn will ena enable you to make more money i can do that for you and i want to help as far as products go if you want to use my products to do the things that i'm telling you that you can do and that i can help you with i will do whatever i have to do to earn your business that's how i roll my cell phone number right here is 813-846-4406 that's how i do business i don't mess around with a customer service team i mean i've got people working on the job right now getting orders out and and making things happen but as far as dealing with the people who trust and support my cause you get my personal cell phone number. Send me a text message i'm on it whatever i can help you with when you're in the middle of a job after the job doesn't matter let me know what i can do to help you i am passionate i love this shit i love this love it i'll do whatever i got to do to earn your business and i want to tell you guys i appreciate you each and every one of you guys that take the time to listen to me babble i know i say it on every video but i don't want anybody to not realize how much i appreciate your support and i want to help you succeed in detailing i'm getting goosebumps right now thinking about it i'm passionate about this i love it I love this business and I think that what I can bring to you more than just how I detail with my processes and my products I can help you with the business side I feel like that's where I excel and if I can help you I cannot do anything for you unless you reach out thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day